I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be honest with you, I don't know where to begin on this evening. This is very somber, and this is a report I really don't want to read, but it must be done. So any mistakes are not intentional. It's just because there's a lot to read, and I'm trying my best to get each and every word correct. So let's begin. This past weekend in Buffalo, New York, an 18-year-old white supremacist went on a shooting rampage. 10 people were killed and 13 were wounded. Then he had a nerve to plead not guilty in court as he was charged with first-degree murder. At the end of this reading, this article from the Rolling Stone magazine, I will have a personal commentary. So let's get started. Quote, Buffalo mourns 10 killed in racially motivated hate crime at market. 18-year-old white shooter Peyton Gindron charged with first-degree murder after targeting black shoppers in what the FBI called a case of racially motivated violent extremism. Police released the names of the 10 people killed during a racially motivated mass shooting at a Buffalo, New York grocery store, store on Saturday afternoon. The victims of the attack, which Erie County Sheriff John Garcia described as pure evil, include Aaron Salter, 55, a retired Buffalo police officer who worked as a security guard at the Topps Friendly Market, where the attack occurred. On Sunday, Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gramagalia called Salter a hero and said he confronted and shot the gunman during the melee. But the gunman was wearing a body armor. We don't know what he prevented, Gramagalia said of Salter on ABC's This Week. There could have been more victims if not for his actions. Those killed in the shooting rampage are Robert Drury, 31, Marcus D. Morrison, 52, Andre McNeil, 53, Geraldine Talley, 62, Chester Cheney, 65, Haywood Patterson, 68, Catherine Massey, 72, Pearl Young, 72, I mean 77, pardon me, Ruth Whitefield, 86. The gunman identified as 18-year-old Peyton Gendron from Cochrane, New York, was wearing military-style clothing, body armor, and a helmet, and was armed with a high-powered rifle. He had apparently traveled more than 200 miles to attack the supermarket located in a predominantly black neighborhood. 11 out of the 13 people shot were black, officials said, while the other two were white. The shooter was not from this community, Buffalo uh, Mayor uh, Byron Brown said Saturday. In fact, the shooter traveled hours from outside this community to perpetrate this crime on the people of Buffalo. Gendron pleaded not guilty to first-degree murder and was ordered held without bail in a brief arraignment Saturday night. The next court proceeding is set for Thursday, May 19th. The Associated Press reported that the supermarket is located in a predominantly black neighborhood outside downtown Buffalo. Three of the victims were shot and killed in the parking lot outside of the store, the Buffalo News reported before Gendron entered Tops and opened fire after exiting the supermarket, he encountered officers. When police arrived, Gendron first threatened to shoot himself. He was standing there in his military gear with his weapon to his chin, looking like he was going to blow his head off, witness uh, Brandon Caphart told the Buffalo News. We weren't sure what was happening. As he continued to do that, he dropped to his knees while appearing as if he shot himself. Police ultimately handcuffed Gendron and was being questioned by FBI as of Saturday night. Gendron allegedly published a 180-page manifesto online that is ugly and unhinged, 
even for a suspected mass murderer. In it, he talks about becoming radicalized after reading a 4chan forum in his extreme boredom during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. I was not born racist nor grew up to be racist. I simply became racist after I learned the truth. The document touts earlier racist rampage killings and pushes the conspiracy theory that white people are facing extinction and are being replaced by immigrants and people of color. It's a baseless notion that's been widely promoted on the far right fringes from the neo-Nazi marchers of Charlottesville to the Fox News broadcast of Tucker Carlson. Authorities were still working to confirm the authenticity of the document on Sunday, the Associated Press reported. This was pure evil, Erie County Sheriff John Garcia said at a press conference. It was a straight up racially motivated hate crime from somebody outside of our community, coming into our community and trying to inflict that evil upon us. Our hearts are with the community and all who have been impacted by this terrible tragedy, NAAC President Derek Johnson said in a statement, hate and racism have no place in America. We are shattered, extremely angered, and praying for the victim's families and loved ones. I am closely monitoring the shooting at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York. Governor Kathy Hochul, a Buffalo native, tweeted Saturday. We have offered assistance to local authorities. If you are in Buffalo, please avoid the area and follow guidance from law enforcement and local officials. President Joe Biden and First Lady Joe Biden will travel to Buffalo on Tuesday, the White House said on Sunday. Any act of domestic terrorism, including an act perpetrated in the name of a repugnant white nationalist ideology, is antithetical to everything we stand for in America, Biden said in a statement released Saturday night. Hate must have no safe harbor. Attorney General Gerlich Maryland Attorney General Merrick Garland said the Justice Department is investigating the attack as a hate crime and an act of racially motivated violent extremism. On Sunday, Vice President Kamala Harris called Saturday's mass shooting part of an epidemic of hate across our country that has been evidenced by acts of violence and intolerance. We must call it out and condemn it. Tops Friendly Markets said in a statement, we are shocked and deeply saddened by the senseless act of violence and our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. According to Twitch, Gendron live streamed the mass shooting on the platform. Police said that he had a camera fixed to his helmet during the attack and left behind a manifesto touting white supremacist conspiracy theories. Buffalo police did not confirm these reports, but said they were investigating to see if the attack was racially motivated. What? Let me stop here for a minute. What? Are you serious? Twitch said in a statement that Gendron's alleged user account has been suspended and that they're working to ensure the live stream isn't rebroadcast. Twitch has a zero tolerance policy against violence of any kind and works swiftly to respond to all incidents, the company said. Both the Associated Press and Buffalo News report that Grindrin was previously investigated in June 2021 over threats he made to fellow students at a, listen, Bromley County High School. A school official reported that this very troubled young man had made statements indicating that he wanted to do a shooting either at a graduation ceremony or sometime after a law enforcement official told the Buffalo News, told the Buffalo News. State police investigated the threat and referred Gendron to a mental health evaluation and counseling. I'm not going to read any more of this article. That's enough right there. Let me just say this. The revisionists of history are trying to whitewash history and trying to act as if there isn't any white supremacist in America. And at the same time, the revisionists could never wipe out the historical facts. Slavery 
it existed. It was a fact. Almost 400 years of slavery. Native Africans were brought to this country to be slaves. To do what? To pick cotton. To work the fields. To economize this nation. The Civil Rights Movement, it happened. It's real. Segregation happened. It's real. And last but not least, if the situation had been reversed, the propagandists would not be talking about an alleged shooter. The entire police force would have come out there, and that man would have never made it to the courthouse. You know it, and I know it. America has a problem, and this problem isn't going to get solved by people pretending that it did not happen. What happened in Buffalo, New York on Saturday was a travesty of the worst kind. Tonight, heartfelt and sincere prayers and condolences to every family member. You're not alone. America will rally with you and behind you. Never surrender. Never quit.